Hi friends, uh, today's episode of Fogged Up Goggles, Change Your Reality by Changing Your Perspective is all about the Donald. So it is the, uh, today is the 11th, I believe, and um, many of you have this in mind, thinking that the Donald is the devil. <laughs> and um, I get it. I get it. He represents um, fear and hate and all those things that a lot of us thought we had moved on from. But what if, for just a second, we entertain the idea that maybe some of us were living with rose-colored glasses? What if we weren't able to see where we truly are? Now, I know a lot of you are feeling a little blue and depressed. Like everything is going to implode. That's why I pick my nose. <laughs> like everything is going to be a disaster. And we have that all or nothing thinking that, you know, everything was great before. And now our economy is going to go to shit. And our... Um, you know, the Muslims and the people, our friends and neighbors and the people that we trust and respect, they're going to be deported. Um, we're going to have an implosion of um, morals and values. And a lot of you are thinking, what is the point? Why do I bother? On this Veterans Day... It makes us wonder, why did I bother to come out and vote when my vote wasn't heard? That's not who I voted for. But I'd like to offer another perspective. What if, what if all of this was for a reason? What if in the divine plan of our growth that the universe really is conspiring for us and for us to grow and to be better people and to come together in love and light. And I wish I had heart glasses to show this, to illustrate this. But what if we are really lucky right now? What if we're looking at this all wrong? What if, what if the Donald, what if, what if President Trump is the one who is going to bring us to a new reality, a reality that says we have to be our own superheroes. We have to show up with love and light and respect and honor. And we have to respect ourselves and we have to respect each other. And we have to look at each other with love in our eyes and understand, hey, you know what? These people aren't what they are we're not all the same on the surface, right? We're not, if we dig below, there's reasons that we do things. We all have our own pain. We all want to be loved and appreciated and needed. What if we start looking at life that way? And we can just turn to the person beside us, not because they think the way we do and because they do the things that we like and we love and, and they're our friends, but what if it's that person down the street who we wouldn't necessarily have given time to? What if this is a call, a higher call for us all to be superheroes for each other? We're all looking for a superhero. We're looking for that president to make everything okay. Well, what if Donald Trump really is going to make everything okay, but by doing it in a way that empowers us all to be better? How can you change your life? How can you change the life of somebody else? What gifts are you holding on to that you're not using right now? What are you afraid to put out into the world? I know for myself, you know, growing up in, um, with grandparents who said, don't ask for anything, you know, just appreciate what you get. But, you know, at first <laughs> you need to say no a couple times. So, you know, I'd go to a, a relative's house and they'd say, hey, would you like some candy? And they'd offer me the candy bowl. And, and I'd say, oh, yes, please. And, and my grandparents would say, no, no. She'd say, no, thank you. And then they'd ask me again, are you sure you can have some candy? Here, have some candy. And they'd say, mm-mm. 
say no thank you. So I did. But the funny thing is, is if they asked a third time, then it was okay. I could have it. <laughs> Does anyone relate? I guess I'm kind of meandering here, but the point is that we have something great to put out into the world, whether it's um, the food that you cook that gives us the time that we need with our family and friends or to focus on providing for our family. Or maybe it's the insurance that you need in order to maintain your lifestyle when you're no longer working. Or maybe it's that marketing that you need to be able to go out into the world and share your message with somebody, but maybe you're not so great with words. These are all friends of mine who are, who are putting their magic out into the world. And maybe it's for me, maybe it's helping people shift their mindset. Just give them a little shift. So what are you holding on to? What can you go out into the world with and make a difference? Whether it's opening a door for somebody or buying somebody's coffee or just not screaming at somebody that cut you off in traffic. Anyways, I hope you have a great day. Happy Veterans Day, Air Force. Who I Air Force. And for all my brothers and sisters out there that are veterans, thank you for your service. With love and light, Renee Dunnigan here with Fogged Up Goggles.